not moving out. He was my dad too, and he would have wanted me to stay. I don't care what your pieces of paper say, I'll contest them. Fine, stay if you like. We'll be getting a knock at the door from the police. I'll have them forcibly remove you for trespassing on my property. What the hell did I do to you growing up? <laughs> Come on, this is madness, you're my little brother. But the thing is, you're not my big sister. <laughs> yeah, I am. Before he died, Dad asked me to bring his will to the care home. And tucked away underneath it, in the same dusty desk drawer, was this. Shocked it or something. They're very real. I had them verified. I had to be 100% sure that my dad was about to leave this house and half of my inheritance to a complete stranger. You got him to change his will. How could you? He could barely remember his own name, let alone make an important decision like that. He was lucid at the time. He knew that this was best for our family. The family you're not a part of. Yeah, you know what, you're right. I am better off out of your toxic family. But although I wasn't his flesh and blood, you can't handle the fact that he loved me. He liked me as a person. He enjoyed and wanted to spend time with me. Daily phone calls, walks in the park, lunch dates, and every single Christmas for the last 20 years. I was there for him too. When? When he wanted his money. Keep it and enjoy the reminder of a father who loved a complete stranger more than you.